With Excel 2010 comes the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar is this small area here where there are a number of icons for shortcuts to tasks that you would like to carry out. Now we can move this Quick Access Toolbar from the top of the ribbons, if we click this little drop down here, to say show below the ribbon, and it moves here. So if you use the Quick Access Toolbar a lot, that would mean there is less distance for you to travel from your document here to the toolbar. So that might be a good location for it. By default, it will show above the ribbon. Now you can add icons to this quick access toolbar or take them away. Again, using the drop down, and you'll see some common quick access toolbar options new, open, save, email, quick print, print preview, spelling, undo, redo, sort ascending, sort descending, and open a recent file. The ones with ticks against them are the icons that are already being displayed on your quick access toolbar. So you could add print preview and the icon appears, open recent and the icon appears. Notice that any new item I add appears at the end of the list. So if I were to take save off, save disk it disappears and then add it back in, it appears at the end of the list. So effectively with a little, little shuffling around, you can control the order of these icons. Now, if you want to add other shortcuts to here that are not in this predefined list, we can go to more commands which opens up the Excel options dialog box that allows you to customize the quick access toolbar. So you can get to the same dialog box by doing file options. At the minute, you can see what you have on there and we can choose other icons from the list. These are the popular commands. So I might want paste. So I choose paste and add and that gets added to the list. I can choose copy and add and that gets added to the list. And let's have cut and add and that gets added to the list. The other thing I can do from within here is control the order using these up and down keys. So I could choose cut and move it up so it appears before paste and the same for copy. So I now have cut, copy and paste in that order, but I'd still like save to be at the end. So I can control the quick access toolbar and the icons that appear on there and the order that they appear using this Excel options quick access toolbar. Okay, and you can see that they are now in the order I've defined and I have cut, copy and paste on the toolbar ready to use wherever I might be in the sheet. So that's the quick access toolbar. I can choose any of the pre-built items to be there or not there, or I can go to more commands to choose other commands and add those in. And I can move the quick access toolbar to be below the ribbons. Should I be quite commonly using this, it makes sense for it to be nearer so there's less distance to travel for me to click an icon.